All right, well, good morning. My name is Mr. Houts. I'm principal at Downey High School. And Johan contacted me a few weeks ago and would like to um, have me deaf for a day and just see what it's like uh, to be hearing impaired, which uh, I think it's a really good idea. As you know, we have uh, several students here that are deaf or hearing impaired, so I'm going to spend the day um, as uh, a hearing impaired principal. Here we go. Costume contest tomorrow lunch. Stream of lunch. See your prices if you want. <laughs> Bring your costume. Bring your costume. No mask. Bring a pumpkin. Bring a pumpkin. No school tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Halloween. <laughs> Halloween is tomorrow. You wear your costume. No mask. Okay. 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 Are you okay? I'm deaf today. Pumpkin. <laughs> Halloween. Oh, Halloween. Spooky. Right. Costume. Sure, if you want to sign. You know how to do that? Yeah. You know how to sign? Yeah. Let me so, see. so this is saying my name. This is name and N I G E L.
It was, it was uh, two things stuck out of my mind. First off was uh, frustration, uh, not being able to uh, convey any information, either uh, pick it up or to give it out. Um, basic, basic simple things that I normally take for advantage were, became very difficult. And I'd say the other thing was uh, loneliness because I was not able to convey any information to anybody. Um, I, it, was, it was very interesting. A lot of it was I, I learned um, to really look at somebody's face and tr you can really read somebody's face uh, if they're understanding what you're trying to get across to them. Um, that was one thing that I, that I found. And the other was um, if they're not in line of sight, you don't, um, you can't communicate because people would talk to me and I didn't know they were trying to get my attention because I couldn't see them. I don't know, that's a good question. Uh, we, we did go to the uh, ASL class, or no, I'm sorry, it was a geometry class, and I, I did learn some very basic uh, sign, so I, I thought that would help, um, but I, I, I really don't know. That, that would be a tough one for me. But I, I think it would be hard for uh, people that are deaf that, that do not know how to sign, or parents of a deaf child that don't know how to sign. I can see how hard that would be. Uh, what I was mainly doing was writing it down. That was the hard thing, but it, it, it takes time to write it down. So I noticed you start doing shorthand or um, your message wasn't as complex as you would like it to be. It was, you start to get to more of a yes, no answer. And I could see how that would be hard for students when you're uh, trying to do some critical thinking activities and yes, no responses really don't do it. You not not completely, but significantly. Or did you the, feel the vibration? The vibration, yeah. yeah. The vibration. Yeah, it's an interesting feeling. Uh, it gives me a, an appreciation of, of what they're going through, especially in the uh, educational realm. And just, uh, compute, like I said, uh, uh, communicating complex uh, issues it's it's not easy and it takes a lot of time okay well thank you very much yeah it was a pleasure it's something uh, I, I probably learned more today than uh johan did so I, th I thank him for uh for this uh, activity it was uh, interesting i've worked with uh deaf students now for nearly 20 years and it's the first time i've ever done that so i'm glad i did